Hey, hey artists, welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I'm creating some artwork for a huge project of mine that I'm currently working on. I'm making my own tarot deck. So right now, as of when I'm posting this video, up until February 26th at midnight, 2021, I'm running a Kickstarter campaign for the Joy Seeker tarot deck. And if you wanna check that out, be sure to grab the link in the description of this video. It got fully funded in less than 24 hours, which is just amazing. My heart is so full of joy and love. And that was just like such a huge surprise. So that means the deck is officially being created. I wanted to show you how I'm creating the artwork for this Joy Seeker tarot deck as I have affectionately named it. It's a bit of a fun thing. So I am an oil painter, but I also used to do a lot of ink work specifically for like botanicals, all sorts of good stuff like that. And I wanted a way to kind of revisit that old side of me while still embracing oil paint, cool critters, and adding something that's a little weird. So ultimately the idea for the aesthetics of this tarot deck it really stemmed from that 30 paintings in 30 days challenge that I completed in the month of December of last year. That really kickstarted it because if you've watched any of those videos, you know they're filled with animals that were pink and purple in tones. So I used a lot of those tones in the things in the paintings. And I really wanted to continue on with that because it ended up creating a really strong, powerful image overall. All the pieces really looked like they belonged together and I really wanted that for my tarot deck. And I also wanted each and every card to be a delight to use and look at. So a lot of decks that I've noticed tend to have maybe like the major arcana be more elaborate and then the minor arcana be more simplistic. And I didn't really want that. So each and every card in the Joy Seeker tarot deck is pretty dang elaborate. And I've been loving the process. I've completed over half the cards so far and I'm still working on them. It's just, it's a joy. I am so in love with this project. So I wanted to give you a little insight as to how I'm actually creating these. So like I mentioned already, the finished cards are gonna be a combination of oil paint. Technically there's acrylic paint to start, I'll kind of walk you through my process, but there's a bit of acrylic paint. There is a whole lot of oil paint, there's ink, and then I'm combining all of those elements together in a digital program. I'm using Procreate on my iPad because it's just such a versatile tool. And then I'm getting these cards printed. So let's kind of look at the process a little bit. I started these, the oil portion of these paintings very much like I did the entire series of the 30 paintings in 30 days challenge where I'm starting off by transferring my sketch that I have completed before onto a sheet of loose canvas and then what I'm doing is I'm taking brown acrylic paint and I'm doing a really dilute sort of wash on top and the reason why I do this is because I wanted it's kind of twofold here I didn't want a pure white background I wanted there to be more of like a softer textual element behind which I think the really loose wash it almost gives it a watercolor feel but without you know, having that lack of staying power, especially if I'm going to be painting with oils on top. So acrylic paint was perfect for this. So I start off by doing that. The other thing is that it allowed me to get even more creative with the way that I kind of overlay this painting with the inked elements. So a lot of the inked elements are then going to show up as like white. So you can see them still over that acrylic wash background. So once that acrylic wash is very dry, I jumped in with my oil paint. So I'm using a very limited palette here, mostly sticking with, um, I've got my burnt umber, bit of burnt sienna in some places, using titanium white. I have no ivory black here. I've not used black for any of these. And then I also have magenta and I've got my cobalt violet hue, which is just a really beautiful purple. And I, for this particular project, I'm using a lot of um, Gamblin's mediums for this, using it a little bit to glaze, but just to thin out my paint a little bit. And I am just so loving this color palette. It 
is just my favorite thing to work with. And it's just been such a joy for this entire project so far. So yeah, I layer on my first layer of my paints here. And all of the cards so far have been completed in two layers of oil paint. So typically I will do my first layer, which is a lot more broad. There's not a lot of detail, but making sure to get, you know, a good solid layer down. And then in a few days after it has dried, I go in and add more detail. I can punch up the color a little bit, add some more saturation or contrast with my glazes, and then it's done. So typically while I was letting that first layer dry, I would create my sort of scrolling and flowing ink elements on paper. I was using Micron pens for this variety of sizes and yeah, I just, I had so much fun doing this part. I didn't really follow any reference photos for the inked portion. I just kind of went with the flow and truly loved it. And I just really love the way that they end up looking together at the end. Keep watching and I will show you what some of the finished cards are going to look like. And yeah, complete the ink piece. Usually I was curled up on my couch with a book on top of me for something hard and spent some time inking with a coffee beside me and my little corgi puppy newbie bugging me and trying to get on top of my lap. So that's how most of the ink pieces were created, which was honestly just such a pleasure. Added a whole new layer to the creation of this deck. So then once my painting was dry, I grabbed my big fancy camera and I took some high resolution, we'll call them scans with air quotes, because I don't have a scanner. I don't like using a scanner for my paintings, but I take really high quality photos with my, my Canon DSLR. So that would be the next part, to take really high quality photos of both the painted portion and the ink portion. And then I jump into my favorite program on my iPad, Procreate, and I love using the Apple Pencil with this. That thing is just incredible. And I basically take those two different files. I've got my painted portion, got my ink portion and overlay them and fiddling around. And then typically I will go through with a pen tool and add some white behind that ink to really make it pop and just have fun with it. Use the beauty of all of these tools, oil paint, acrylic, ink, and a digital system to just create something that I just loved. It lit me up so much and honestly just made me so excited to bring this deck into the world. So yeah, in a nutshell, that is how I went about creating these cards. And as of posting this video, I still have quite a few cards to go, but now that my deck is fully funded, I know this deck is for sure getting printed and now I'm throwing everything I have into these cards and I'm just so excited for it. So yeah, let's take a quick peek at what some of the final cards are going to look like here. So as you can see, they have been, you know, juxtaposed with the ink and I fiddled around with things a little bit to truly really get the image that I wanted, but yeah. These are the final designs that are going to be for these cards that you're seeing me paint. The ones we're going to be looking at here are going to be the lovers. I also have the star, which I loved the lovers right from the get go. I mean, it's barn owls. We all know I love barn owls. But when I first created the design for the star, I wasn't thrilled about it. I was like, eh, whatever, it's fine. It's dove and flowers. But by the time I created the final image with the ink, uh, it just, it totally popped in my mind and it is now one of my favorite cards. Like at this point I've created almost 40 cards and I think the star is sitting in like my top four, which I think is pretty amazing. Considering when I first created it, I was just like, eh, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> but I absolutely love the way it looks. So we have the lovers, the star and the four of cups. And these are some of my favorite cards that I've created so far. I think my all time favorite card that I've created so far is the death card. But unfortunately, I didn't record my video for that one. But you can go check that out if you actually go click on the link in the description to check out the Kickstarter campaign. 
Like I mentioned before, it is running until February 26th at midnight. So if you, if this, you know, if these images that I'm creating right now in this video are sparking something in you and you want to have a tarot deck of your own with these images and paintings on them, go grab your own in the Kickstarter campaign. And yeah, I would love you for it. <laughs> Hopefully these resonate with you because that's such an important factor when it comes to choosing the decks that we like to use. All right, well, that is all I wanted to say on this topic. I might post a couple more videos in this style with some of the other cards that I'm creating since I'm now recording all of them and there's 78 cards. So <laughs> I have a lot of footage here to use, but I really hope you enjoyed kind of listening to me ramble on a little bit about how I'm creating these cards. And yeah, if there's something else that you wanna see or even like tutorials or other things you want me to talk about, leave a comment and that would be hugely appreciated. I'm always looking for new things that you guys wanna hear me talk about. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing. I post tons of tutorials that basically teach you how to paint realistic wildlife. You've got like the actual portraits, different components like fur and eyes. And yeah, I just, I totally love being able to hang out with you guys here and communicate with other artists and just give back. Cause yeah, art is such a freaking joy in this world. And I just want to spread it far and wide and help other artists gain the confidence they need to start growing their own art business and allowing more joy in their life through the form of art. All right, on that note, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.